Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. This is Anonymous T. Hope you're having an amazing day today. So today we are discussing Nick Cannon dropping an ode to his ex-wife, Mariah Carey. Yes, you heard that right. I don't know if people are being inspired by Kanye West that after you screw up to the point that your spouse no longer wants you, and then you have this realization that now that they've moved on, you you now all of a sudden want them back but you weren't giving that same energy you wouldn't you weren't putting in that same work or effort into the marriage when you had them and now here comes the woe is me part of the whole <laughs> you know grief process so this comes from people i will of course link in the description box because we cite our sources it says the following it says that nick cannon drops ode to ex-wife mariah carey with new song alone because I know you got a man. It's a little too late. Nick Cannon sings in part. <laughs> it says, is Nick Cannon missing Mariah Carey? On Valentine's Day, the 41-year-old mass singer host dropped a new song called Alone on his social media pages. The emotional ballad samples Love Takes Time, you guys, by Mariah Carey. Let me read that again. The emotional ballad samples Love Takes Time by Mariah Carey. Um, which came from his ex-wife's self-titled debut album re released in 1990. According to a press release obtained by People, the song is said to be an ode to the hit maker and describes Cannon's feelings about Mariah and their split. This is for anybody else who is alone on Valentine's Day. I've come to raw from the heart on this one. Broken, shattered, toxic, hashtag raw, raw and be <laughs> alone he tweeted first off i'm gonna say i ain't got nothing but love for you sings in part nothing but love i'm gonna stay away i ain't trying to f it up for you i'm gonna keep my distance stay in my lane because i know you got a man it's a little too late later in the lyrics he alludes that the relationship ended for the best as heard in the full song on youtube as much as i want you back it's probably better where you at because i'm still running the streets of course you are you are creating a basketball team of children. You had, what, four or five kids last year in one? <laughs> like, it's just too much. I'm still running the streets. I'm still all in the sheets. Oh, we know. You were never celibate. I don't even know why you put that lie out there. Still running the sheets. I'm still all in the sheets having babies, models, and singers and actresses saying they pregnant by me. <laughs> child the ghetto what is happening what is going on this is not a flex nick cannon this is not you had the world with mariah carey you guys were doing your yearly anniversary vow renewals um you guys had it all literally have to pay 10k a week i take care of my peeps now you don't worry when i creep <laughs> you got a man next to you when you sleep oh my gosh oh my gosh look, look, this is so bad this is so awful you guys he is creating nick cannon you are creating all of these other broken homes across the u.s with all these different people you're not going to be able to devote that much time to all these kids and you have like a hundred jobs so when when is i i just can't so then it says, so Nick Cannon just made a song with Mariah Carey track, Love Takes Time, on his intro. The track is called Alone. This song is all about Mariah and wanting her back. One fan tweeted, Nick Cannon released a song in it, and it says that he wants Mariah Carey back, said another. Not Nick Cannon making songs talking about wanting Mariah Carey back. Boy, bye. She is fine. Where's she at? You lost her a long time ago. Another tweet read, Cannon and Carey were married in two th from 2008 to 2014, and the split finalized nearly two years later. The former couple are parents to 10-year-old twins, Moroccan and Moreau. After the divorce, Carrie moved on with James Packer, who she was engaged to from January 2016 to October of that year. After that breakup, the legendary singer started dating her former backup dancer, Brian Tanaka, who she's been with since. Last month, Nick Cannon show hosted um, and had announced on his talk show that he was expecting a baby boy with model Bria T Tiasi. The child will be Tiasi's first and Nick Cannon's eighth. <laughs> the actor and musician also is a dad to 13-month-old 
powerful queen and four and a half year old Golden Sagan, who he shares with Brittany Bell and a seven month twins, Zion and Zillion Air, whom with whom he shares with Abby De La Rosa. Cannon welcomes son Zen, his fourth baby in a year last year with Alyssa Scott. Zen died on December 5th after being diagnosed with brain cancer. On February 13th, Scott posted publicly um, that she had mourned the loss of their late son in a heartfelt note to their late baby. I often think about your voice, the sound of you saying, I love you, mom. Words I will never hear, but still feel to this day. I know you love me, Zen, she wrote in part. You are everywhere. I see you in everything beautiful. When I hear a baby giggle, when I see children playing, you are there. You guys, what in the heck? What is going on? What is wrong with Nick Cannon? These people need to seek therapy instead of attention. I said it. Seek therapy instead of attention. Because this is madness. This is madness. You're sampling your ex-wife's music. Meanwhile, all these women are, you know, freely, you know, having unprotected sex with Nick Cannon and creating all of these children all over the U.S., Knowing daggone well, he is not going to be there 100% of the time to help raise the child. He's going to be there on a part-time basis because he's literally spreading his seed everywhere. Like, make it make sense. And Nick Cannon, if you really wanted to do right by Mariah Carey in the first place, you wouldn't have been doing anything to have it to the point that you guys had to divorce. You wouldn't have pissed her off to the point that she wanted nothing to do with you. But this is what happens. This is what happens when people do not realize how good they have it until it is gone. This is the perfect case of what happens in these relationships and in these marriages where these men knew that they struck out of their league with this one, with a Mariah Carey. And you were doing the most. You were trying to spill all this tea on your marriage, on Howard Stern a million times. And then you had the nerve to disrespect Mariah Carey by putting her in the same sentence as one of your exes, Kim Kardashian, because you were trying to do a brag of all these women in the industry that you had hooked up with in the past while you were married to Mariah Carey on the Howard Stern show a bunch of times. Like you really thought that that was what was hot in the streets. To disrespect your wife like that because no man does that no man who is happily married um you know a new father to twins is going on howard stern to brag about the exes and the past tryst that he has had with other famous women nobody is doing that but again this is what happens when you do not seek therapy and you seek attention this is what happens, and this is what led to the demise of your marriage. Mariah Carey told you to keep your mouth shut. She's a fire sign. If you are an Aries, Sag, or Leo, you already know. If you piss us off, we are done. <laughs> There's no second, third, and fourth chances. If you piss us off, we are done. You are dead to us. <laughs> like, 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 that's it. We told you what, our, what, we, what we wanted. We told you what pisses us off and you didn't listen. So now we're done. We're done. That is it. It's over. So, um, so yeah, so that's where we are. Um, Nick is looking for attention and not therapy. And there's probably going to be more songs of this where this came from. So, but in the end, as long as Mariah Carey gets the check for the sample of her song, um, I really could care less. And actually the song isn't too bad. Um, in, in the first listen, it's just desperate. It is just desperate that you are making this song now um, while you are in the midst of expecting your eighth child and still staying in the song that while you miss your ex, that you're still going to be running the streets and you're still out here in the streets and you're still out here on the late night creep. Like, how does your baby mama feel like about this? Like, they're up here all proud at these baby showers having, you know, Nick Cannon's, you know, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh, and eighth child. Meanwhile, he's writing songs still about his ex-wife. Like, make it make sense. What are, what are you doing? What are you accomplishing? Sure, Nick Cannon has the means to pay for these children, but you are getting him on a limited basis. He is seeing his children on a limited basis. 
He is creating a basketball team of children that he is not going to have time to devote to all of them all at once. So what are you getting out of this, really? Clout that you have a kid by Nick Cannon? Like, is this like the new future situation where it's like everybody gets a kid? Like, I just I just don't understand the logic, people. I do not understand the logic at all. Especially the one that um, Nick Cannon is expecting with now. She was just married to Johnny Manziel, who's a former NFL player. And you go to being in a marriage with somebody that you have no kids with to now jumping into something with somebody who you're now who already had seven kids. And you you think that you're going to be the one that is going to stop Nick Cannon from this foolishness when he's basically saying in this song he continues he's going to still run the streets. Like, it, it, I just can't, you guys. But let me know your guys' thoughts. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I will talk to you guys again soon.